Did you have any goals in mind for the year or were you, was it just to get on tour and start playing as soon as possible? No, actually, I started to play uh, tournaments in Egypt. The, you know, the satellite ones. Hmm. At, uh, they started like uh, one year ago. I started to join just to gain experience when I joined the Challenger once. Once I joined the Challenger, uh, my very first tournament as a PSA player was, uh, was in March after my birthday. Actually, uh, uh, I was an antecedent one. I, it, it was, uh, I entered with a wild card and I won. It was really something that helped me in my rank. Uh, you couldn't have started much better than, than with a victory in your first tournament. Um, did it come as a surprise to you that you took that win or did you feel that you were capable of, of, of playing that well? Uh, as you know, the challenger tournaments in Egypt were uh, for for its dominant players. So uh, we've like been playing with each other before. Um, it was a bit a great like we've we've played with each other, so it wasn't like a surprise for us to to play with each other again. Uh, I got it was a surprise for me to win my first ever tournament, uh, but. Uh, I was really happy to uh, to make it, and I and I won a lot of people who were uh, older than me. But um, I, we we were all maybe uh, not ex very experienced uh, as it was uh, the tournaments, like the first challenger tournament uh, in Egypt. I think so. Uh, I really don't know before, but for me, uh, yes, probably it was the first one. And. How good was it that there were so many Challenger Tour events in Egypt and obviously CIB came in and, and supported them? How good was that for, for you and for a lot of other young players to, to get experience on tour? Actually, yeah, the CIB is really good. It helped me to uh, prove my rank as uh, also, if, uh, as you know, the, we have to travel abroad to play these tournaments. So now uh, it was easier for us to just like go to another uh, city. And uh, some of them were in my home city. So it was really good to attend these. Uh, it helped me to uh, be in the top 100 uh, as soon as possible. And they also gave me a lot of experiences uh, because when I, like, when I travel abroad or something that I am having experience from here. So it was really good thing. Yeah, and you mentioned traveling abroad. Obviously, you went to um, to Pakistan um, for your. Uh, what was that experience like? You know, experiencing a different culture and, and a different environment, as well as playing out there. Uh, I went. I've never been abroad alone, so it was my, my first ever tournament there, and uh, my first ever tournament uh, PSA abroad. Uh, it was really good. Uh, I lost in the semis to Salman Taib. Um, I gained a lot of experiences uh, from traveling alone, and uh, I have to manage. The, I had to manage myself, uh, uh, waking up, uh, and like I have to be independent hundred percent. There is no one in there. And uh, Pakistan was a really good place to visit. Uh, they were really safe, and uh, we loved there. And obviously, you know, you haven't just played on the Challenger Tour. You also got um, a taste of platinum level action at the uh, CIB Egyptian Open. What was that experience like, you know, being amongst the best players in the world uh, during that event? Uh, it was really a great thing to do. Uh, for my first time uh, to be in this uh, atmosphere, I was really happy. My first time to um, like uh, to play with with professional ones. Uh, I got a really big experience with uh, playing with Olivia. Uh, it was my pleasure to, to play with her uh, on court. Uh, I got really happy to be there. Uh, and obviously, you know, it's been such a successful first year on on tour for you. Um, do you have any goals for for twenty twenty two? 
Yes, of course. Uh, I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to enter the top 40, 50 for the next uh, year. That's my goal. Um, also, uh, I want to compete in the you know the bronze and uh, and uh, platinum events, uh, bronze and gold events to prove my rank. But uh, it's really tough. But I wish I could make it. And you mentioned there about the the top top forty, top fifty. Obviously, you, you know you've moved up to seventy eight in in the world rankings. Um, how close do you feel you are to breaking into that top 50? You feel that's something that you can achieve over the next 12 months? Yes. Uh, you know, all of us, uh, me and my team, uh, we are always working in here. And uh, I believe in myself. So one day, uh, like next year, I would be there uh, and the top 40, 50.